I get asked this so many times. What are the best hiking trails in Northwest Arkansas? And I do admit there are so many. So today we're bowling down to the best ones right in this area. So let's talk about that. Hey everybody. If you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I actually was a real estate broker located in the dumpster fire, horrible state, also known as Illinois, the worst, and I could have moved anywhere I wanted to in America, but I chose right here in Northwest Arkansas. By far the best place to live in America. By far. If you ever want to talk about why I chose Northwest Arkansas versus anywhere else in America, let me know. Call me. Email me. Let us, let's meet up for coffee and talk about why I chose here versus anywhere else in America. Without further ado, let's jump right into the content. All right, so let's jump right into the best hiking trails in North of Arkansas. The first ones, I'm gonna kind of combine these together and you'll see why here in a second, is both Blowing Springs and Tangard Park located in Bella Vista, Arkansas. So we're gonna actually work from north uh, side, of, all the way from north, all the way down to the south, and then over to the east side a little bit of North of Arkansas. So buckle up, but the first ones are gonna be Blowing Springs and Tangard Park. The reason these are my favorite in, uh, honestly in Bella Vista and also Northwest Arkansas is and specifically in Bella Vista is the fact that within Bella Vista there's obviously hundreds of miles of trails. The other ones are like uh back 40. The back 40 is a really long loop and it's hard to get on and off of whereas blowing and also uh uh tanyard it's an easy e uh, like honestly it's more for families. You can jump on jump off pretty simply. You just go a little hike and come back. Uh, back 40, that's going to be a long ride to say the least. But both uh, Blowing and also Tanyard have waterfalls, they're very picturesque, easy on, easy off. There are some more technical trails baked in there, but really the true core thing about Bella Vista that makes it unique in comparison to Benville is the fact that it's a really very well, uh, I would say, mixed use trail system. There's a lot of, there's hundred miles of trails in Bella Vista, and so you aren't going to be running into mountain biking, mountain bikers all the time. Benville, you're gonna, that's kind of its jam down there, of course. So you're gonna see a lot of trail systems, but there's gonna be a lot of bikes on them. Not recommended hiking. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But for both, uh, uh, Tanyard and Blowing Springs, picturesque, great family stuff. You can picnic out there. There's near, um, like basically some, like small restaurants, some beer gardens, some like parking your car, walk too easily. So definitely if you're coming to the area, put on your calendar, put on your, yeah, for sure your calendar, your itineraries, which mine are in there. Haha. <laughs> the itineraries is both Tanyard and Blowing Springs. Well worth checking out and good for a couple miles of hiking. It's way more than that, but if you just want to get a couple miles in, definitely check those places out. And the second best hiking trail starting from north to south, I would go to uh, Osage Park. Now, I'm going to kind of skip like Slaughter Pen and a bunch of other trail systems in Benville because it's really hard to hike on those trails. They're really taken over about mountain biking because they're designed for mountain biking. So if you have ran or hiked on those trails, not recommended. There are some things around All American. There's the Razorback Greenway, of course, that you can kind of hike on, but it's kind of paved pathways at that point. So just know that the north side of Benville is heavily dedicated to uh, mountain biking, but Osage Park was, I would consider, more centrally located in Benville. That is geared way more towards just we can say hiking consumers. Now there's not a lot of this in Osage Park. It is a mesh of ponds and lakes and outdoor spaces and birding, like bird sighting and outdoor like cooking and stuff of that nature. And they do a lot of outdoor, would say like school events there. It's right next to Thaden Field near the whole airport over there. So very picturesque, very pretty. I would consider that it's less hiking. It is a hiking trail system, but it's more just family oriented and since you're going to go wider pathways, easier to walk, more things to do, swings, pathways, the whole kit and caboodle. So it's definitely more family centric, family geared. So if you're coming to the area and you, and your kids aren't really big onto going up any sort of like mountain, so to speak, or trail systems, or just want to keep it kind of like more, we'll say city-esque, we'll say for the sake of argument, uh, Osage Park is very good for that. If you want to slowly onboard yourself into nature around Arkansas, Osage Park is a great way to onboard there. And the third best hiking spot located in Northwest Arkansas, starting from north to south, is Lake Atlanta over in east, like I would consider east downtown Rogers. So there's Lake Atlanta over there, and there's a nice like circle pathway, like a mile, I think it's over a little two miles around Lake Atlanta over there, super pretty. And then on top of that, they have trail systems built into the actual kind of like we'll say ravine for the most part. They are well-maintained. They're kind of more geared for mountain biking. So there's not like a huge amount of mountain bikers there, but just know that it's going to be a lot more of this and kind of geared towards that, like jumps, just heads up there. But just know that Lake Atlanta, even beyond the fact there are hiking trails there, it's just so picturesque. Waterfalls, rivers cut through it into Lake Atlanta. Just so pretty. And great, another great, kind of the equivalent to uh, Osage Park over in Bentonville is Lake Atlanta over in, in Rogers. 
but just a great place to bring family, bring kids, bring the whole out there. It's great for people that are, you want to say like, hey, do you want to go hiking? But they're like, I don't want to go up and down this. You definitely want to bring them to Lake Atlanta. Great place. Very similar to uh, Osage over in Bentonville, like I said before. Just know that if you want a good, solid, intense hike, not necessarily a place because there's not a, there's only a couple miles of trail systems. There are the paved ones around the whole lake, lake itself. Very pretty, like I said. Just know that it's going to be more toned down and easy to bring family. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I jump on the next point, I made something for you. I made something called three day itineraries. So maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, whatever it is, I have three day itineraries for you. So it goes city by city, day by day, thing by thing, so you know exactly what to do when you are in Northwest Arkansas. All those links are below. Go ahead and download them and use them when you get down here. And maybe you are looking to move down here and using things like realtor.com, zillow.com, or Redfin. Way too slow. Notifications? Way too slow. That's why I made something called Instant Home Updates. Sounds like what it is, literally Instant Home Updates. So enter your information below, name, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, where do you want to move to North Arkansas? Let me know the all information below. I'll make sure to get that notification set up for you right away so you don't miss a single home hitting the market, both for rentals and also for homes for sale. And if you really want to know what's going on in North Arkansas, every single Friday, I send an email out just talking about all the cool things happening in North Arkansas. Maybe you want to know what's going on in downtown Benville. When is first Fridays? When is first Thursdays? What's going on in downtown Rogers? What music is coming here? What is, what's going on at the Walmart Amphitheater? What new businesses are moving here? There are so many things going on all the time in North Arkansas. Enter your name below. Enter your email below. And make sure you get that email every single Friday. But I need you to be aware. I need you to be just, just heads up. You will get a little fear of missing out, a little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most informed person eventually when you make it way down to North Arkansas. And the fourth best hiking trail located in North Arkansas, starting from north to south, I would consider is Lake Fayetteville. Lake Fayetteville kind of is the best of both worlds. It both has it has both the Razorback Greenway and five miles of pathways around it. You also get scooters along there, so you can rent scooters and zip around there. The second thing about Lake Fayetteville is, first of all, it's obviously super pretty, the whole kit and caboodle there. The second thing is the fact that it actually has off-road trail systems in together. So you can kind of have people on the path, I'll say off-road, meaning like, it's not paved. Uh, so you can have people on the paved system that goes around there. And on top of that, there's a lot of different trail systems that cut through Lake Fayetteville that are more runners and hiker, hikers focused. So if you want the kind of like best of both worlds, there's a bunch of courts, like a volleyball courts and also pickleball courts and just uh, different family setups over near Veterans Park in, in Fayetteville. And then so you have that setup going over there. Plus the fact that you can wreck kayaks, you can do you can just do stuff on the water. So it's kind of set up for a lot of different things, whether it's families or friends or just parties. So just know that it's easy access, easy to get through it to from 49 on Lake Fayetteville, many miles of pathways, very pretty. You're going to see so many deer when you're over Lake Fayetteville. It's fantastic. All the nature, all the things, paved, unpaved, all the things. So long story short, definitely check out Lake Fayetteville. You will not be disappointed. And the fifth best hiking trail located in Northwest Arkansas, starting from north to south, I would consider is Mount Kessler located in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Now, the reason I put Mount Kessler on the map versus like Centennial Mountain or Sequoia Mountain or even Weddington out in Fayetteville, Mount Kessler is truly, I would consider like a more mountain. It's getting, it's not, it's a hill. Don't be wrong. It's a tall hill, but you can get some serious elevation. The trail systems are very well maintained there, both for hiking and mountain biking. So if you are a mountain biker, it's going to be pretty intense and it sounds like there are a lot of rocks, but it's really geared more for hiking and also runners. And it's kind of a fun area because the pathways are, are so wide, you can cut on side to side there. Plus there's like a lot of, and more, this is more why I like it, is a lot of weird things you'll find along the pathways. Like there's like a kind of a, a abandoned houses up there, not like, not new houses, like from the, like we're talking like 1800s kind of stuff. So it is fun. You get a lot of sightseeing up there. You get to oversee a lot of part of Fayetteville. So really picturesque. Plus it's rewarding and it's very diverse. It's like some of the other uh, hiking, it's a lot of like straight paths. And then you stop and see things. Whereas Mount Kessler, you're all over the place. And I do recommend, and I've done this before, if you can bring, download a, uh, a if you've been on hiking, you, know, you know, probably know this app, All Trails, definitely download All Trails for, for Mount Kessler. There's a lot of this and a lot of this all over the place. And so that's kind of uniquely different from Bella Vista and also uh, some, some parts of uh, Benville. Kessler Mountain is a wild ride sometimes when it comes to trail systems out there. So if you're looking for some, I would consider very true hiking, you kind of get lost in the woods a little bit. You kind of get some sightseeing. You're like, which one's east or west? Mount Kessler, very fun. You're not gonna have a lot of mountain, biker, mountain bikers up there. Every once in a while, you'll definitely see one. They definitely go up there, don't get me wrong, but it is really geared for hiking, running, and a lot of other fun stuff as well. 
And the sixth best hiking trail system in Northwest Arkansas, starting from north to south, is Devil's Den State Park. Now this is, I would consider, one of Arkansas's crown jewels examples of a trail system in America. There's a couple different trail systems also known as Monument Trails. Devil's Den is one of those trail systems. There's a couple else in Arkansas, but we'll focus on Devil's Den. It is manicured perfect trail systems in Northwest Arkansas. You got the waterfalls, you got the turnarounds, you got just gorgeousness. The fun thing on Devil's Den, it goes really far down in a river and then you kind of weave your way through the pretty factor, the blue turquoise blue water, the tree systems, the overhangs. It is truly, if you are a hiking family, you want to go out in the outdoors, Devil's Den is amazing. There are a longer amount of trail systems in Devil's Den. I do recommend if you do the 18 to, or more than 18 miles in a day, which is quite a bit, they have uh, state rangers down there. They want you to let them know if you're gonna be out longer than 18 miles. There's a big loop around there. So just know they're serious about that because they don't want to necessarily go looking for you if they don't know that you're out there or they know you're out there and don't know that you're okay. So just let them know, let them be aware. But beyond, if you're not doing the 18 miles in a day, Great times, great beauty, bring some camping stuff, you'll have a great time. And the last best hiking trail system located in Northwest Arkansas, starting from north to south. Actually, we're gonna go east. We, I wanna combine these together, but both Hawksbill Craig, as well as uh, Hobbs State Park, or they're not, they're kinda close, we'll just call them on the east side, are both fantastic trail systems. Hobbs also falls into the monument trail systems, fantastic, manicured, perfect trails. I think it has around 30 or 40 miles of trails out there, absolutely gorgeous. It is definitely more hiking, running, mountain biking friendly. They have uh, runners, like uh, 50Ks out there. They have mountain biking competitions, gorgeous. If you are coming to the area and you are like kind of one that full on Northwest Arkansas experience, Hobbs, Devil's Den, fantastic locations. Now, Hawksville Craig isn't a really long trail system. It's like three or four miles up and down, not super long. If you're just a, if you just want to go hike it, not a, it's so easy. But the thing about Hawksville Craig is that it is a iconic, picturesque overhang over the valleys or the mountains of Northwest Arkansas. So if you are coming to the area and you want the picturesque area, you want those photos that you always see, Hawksville Craig, Hobbs State Park, Devil's Den, always the top tier ones around here. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you haven't been down to North Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds like what it is, there's a starter pack full of all the cool things in North Arkansas. It comes with a 120 page guide, city by city, all about the school system, all about the healthcare system, all about every single city, population, all the data you wanna know about every single thing about North Arkansas comes right in a package. Plus it comes with stickers, plus it comes with postcards, plus it comes with all sorts of cool things you wanna know about North Arkansas. Literally a starter pack box ship right to your home literally right to your home enter your name below enter your address below where am i shipping this package to enter all the information below make sure you get the package to you right away also a little bit of heads up a little bit of side note it does come with your first free mountain bike so that's pretty cool and and and, and, and i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking it has been a favorite for f word free so enter your information below and make sure you get the package shipped to you right away also when you do come down here let me know i'll give you the ten dollar tour so i kind of show around the whole area plus you can check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar would go in north arkansas compared to where you're coming from all right guys i'll see you next one